Hi everyone, um, this is Nikki Rowland and today I'm making a layout for Bramble Fox um, and I'm using the really cool retro comms set that's in the store and I'm using the take note from the May Fox box so I appreciate we're in June right now but I had take note left over from my May box and it was just perfect uh, for this layout so I decided to go for it. Um, so the retro comms set is really cute, it's full of telephones and typewriters and uh, envelope symbols or which I've taken to be email <laughs> maybe it's not if it's retro maybe they are actual letters um, and uh, I have two photos of my little boy who's nearly two sitting at my desk in front of my computer um, and uh, this just made me think how cute um, and it reminded me of him being in an office which he is in my office um, so the whole uh, retro comms and the take note went really well. Um, so I'm planning to use uh, Maggie Holmes' um, Sweet Story and I've pulled out my um, notebook punch. Um, it's a pretty old punch, I've had it for many years, it's a really old style one by Stamping Up and it has little notches along it so uh, it's not a traditional border punch, it, it works in a slightly different way so I'm just, um, you can see me using it there, I'm just going along um, and punching a border all the way along the edge of that paper. So I've picked out three papers that I'm going to use from Sweet Story and I've cut them, they were actually off cut so I had quite a few bits that were already chopped up. So I've just grabbed what I've got and I'm just, um, they actually work quite well because they were three different sizes or four, there's that one as well, the, the um, pink note paper. Um, the one with lines on. Um, so they were all random sizes so I I think I just tidied them up and chopped off the edges uh, to make them square or rectangular um, but um, they work pretty well actually um, as, as they were so I didn't need to do much with them other than distress the edges and um, do the border punches along the top edges. So I have four pieces and I plan to arrange those onto my layout in some way that makes them look like like files of paper. That was that was my plan. You know, lots of pieces of paper with the notebook edge along the top. So that that was my my aim. So I spent a little while fiddling around and getting the layout looking right. So I'm I'm not really that happy with how it's looking at the moment. I can't fit in take note. Um, so I like my photos to be kind of joined together and um, at a slight angle and then take note just didn't quite look right underneath it didn't quite look right to the left of the photos um, and uh, I think that's because um, so it's a, it's a white perspective and I always worry about having a white perspective on a white background so you would think that this would work well with the white perspective on a pattern paper background because I've got lots of papers on here and especially that green one uh, with the diamonds on I thought would it would stand out really rather well um, but actually um, I wasn't all that happy um, with how it was looking um, so I have to you know this is this is kind of acting as a barrier at this point I don't really know quite what I'm doing because I'm there's something missing something not quite right about this layout that I'm not that happy with so I'm just spending some time faffing around <laughs> um, trying to um, make it look uh, okay so um, so yeah I'm still um, just working on that um, and um, you know still not happy still haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do um, I'm fiddling around with the um, papers now and seeing if I can change things around slightly and there we go now that makes me a bit happier. The take note looks 10 times better on the pink and white note card than it did on the uh, green background. Now, the real reason for that completely escapes me because the dark, the greener paper was a darker paper, so the take note stood out more. Um, but for some reason, I just I wasn't happy. It just didn't wasn't sitting well for me. Um, so I am um, still um, just trying to work out what exactly it is I'm going to do um, with these layers, many many layers that I have um, going on here. Um, so I am going to mount my photos. I've put uh, one on a pink like a brighter pink um, paper and then the other one on a minty green paper. It's not the same paper as um, the uh, one with diamonds all over it. It's a slightly different one but it's a similar shade, similar tone. Um, so uh, that works so that works well. I've distressed the edges of those two and I'm gonna have those, definitely have those side by side on that layout there with take note over on the right hand side. Um, I still haven't committed to sticking down my pieces of paper yet. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm taking an awfully long time to um, 
to get those stuck in place. Um, but uh, I have, have kind of figured out now that I'd like to chop the bottoms off. So I've brought the whole layout down a bit um, and I'm going to kind of stick it in place. I'm fairly happy with how it's looking and it's going to be off the bottom edge of the page and then I'm going to trim it like I just did um, on my guillotine. So now um, the bottom edge of the paper is all straight along. Um, they don't all meet the bottom of the paper, the, the cardstock, sorry, but they are okay. they, most of them do. The, 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 the note, little note card doesn't and the one above it doesn't either, but the other two do. So it kind of gives me a bit of a grounding um, at the bottom of the layout there. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, so my photos are in place. I'm now committing and sticking take note in place. It took me a while to get there, uh, but I'm now committing to take note uh, being stuck there. And I just love that little Scotty dog. He was super duper cute. Um, I don't really like dogs, so <laughs> I don't know why I thought he was cute, but he was. Um, and uh, he, he looked good um, just there. He's just kind of, he's like the office uh, mascot perhaps. Um, so I'm just going through my chipboard um, sheet that I had and working out what bits of chipboard I can use from the Sweet Story collection. And then I'm going to rearrange all the retro comms and get those in various places. So um, I wanted uh, the two typewriters, I wanted the two phones and two uh, envelopes. Um, I wanted to arrange those onto the layout. I was initially start trying to do uh, kind of colour on colour but that didn't really work um, so I just kind of randomly placed them and I've got a bit of a line going on um, in, you know, in between the take note and the first photo there's a, a vertical line going on there um, and then I thought I'd have a cluster over on the left hand corner of the left photo as well. Um, so there's so still this layout is still not really working for me at this point uh, I'm still not that happy um, the colors are a bit wishy-washy so I feel that they they all go with together they're all from the same collection um, the papers just aren't very bright they're all quite muted um, and the retro comms are quite bright they have a very solid turquoise or um, mint um, and a solid pink as well they're not frosted they're not subtle or anything so they were quite bright against the quite subtle papers. Um, so at, at some point, I, I just I turn the camera off in a bit and I just sit here and think, what can I do to make this layout better? It just wasn't working. It just just was a bit boring. <laughs> um, and in the end, you'll see in a minute when the video jumps. Um, there we go. Um, that um, I it just needed an injection of colour. So what I did was I just pulled out some yellow paper and I've put a extra piece at the top um, and then all the other bits and pieces um, are journaling cards. So um, if you're familiar with the Sweet Story collection by Maggie Holmes, her cut apart sheet had these four kind of film strip um, journaling cards at the top of one of the cut apart sheets. Um, so I just took those four cards, I actually only used three of them, um, and I cut them in half and then I slotted them in at various places um, into the layers that I already had. I didn't border punch them because they had the film strip section on them, um, even though it's only printed, not, um, not a die cut or anything. Um, and uh, I just felt that um, by putting in those little colours, so I've got a dark pink, a light pink and a yellow, um, that it just brought the layout completely to life. Um, and I'm so 100% so much more happy with it than what, than what I was. Uh, so I'm so pleased that, you know, sometimes you do have to just walk away from something and come back and then you can figure out what's wrong. Um, and uh, this definitely solved it for me. Um, okay, so I've added the title at the bottom that says Office Junior, so that's just with some black thickers that brought in the colour from the little Scotty dog. Um, and I've added um, some embellishments over on the left hand side of the left photo and added in the um, typewriter there. I've put some pom-pom trim under my photo as well to give a bit of extra texture. I mean, this layer already has loads. Um, and I've put in some twiddles of thread too. Um, so I'm just writing in my journaling uh, that reads, you love to sit at my desk like you are working. You look so cute. You particularly like to press the keys of the computer and open all of my drawers, <laughs> which is definitely what he does at the moment, uh, and pull everything out, which is a bit annoying. Um, and uh, so I'm just finishing off now with some splatters of yellow 
ink that is a stamp market ink set um, and I just put some on a piece of packaging and put some water on and added some flicks of paint either side and that's me done um, okay so I really hope you enjoyed this layout I'm sorry it took me a while to get there um, but um, uh, yeah check out the retro comms set in the store it's awesome and um, the take note was from the previous Fox box, the May one. Thank you so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox.